Uh, you can take the quest, yeah. It's fine. Okay. Okay, so I'll grab the kagooties if you want to grab everything else, Auntie, and just, um... So I got a, a zombie out, look like, yeah, it's up by Have a merchant? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I thought you said zombie for a second, so... Oh, a zombie. zombie. I was saying a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm trying to, um, taunt that Daedrus. So just go to the top of the hill, and if you guys could bash those things on the way if they're doing the red sparkles. And once we get up here, Auntie, if you want to grab these spheres, um, and everyone else can try to help bash, and then just kind of drag them so they come this direction. And then I'll help you in a second. Yeah, tis how things go. I wish I could change it. Right? They're kind of obnoxious like that. Um, if any, if anyone sees these spheres like doing their red sparkle heavies, just um, bash them so that the tanks can group them. Okay, now we're just having a second wave here, so if you want to do that same thing again. If you just taunt them and run away back here, you should be able to group them, yeah. There's one over here. It's okay, Red, don't worry about it. It happens. Okay, I'll grab the Kagooties and we can go down the hill and you can grab the um, sphere and we'll just go down here. So you guys can help bash them and then there's a the next set of spheres right here that'll stack up on. Don't stand in front of the Kagooty. Got a war horn. Do it. Okay, just finish off these guys. We just started on um, ad poles, guys, so we'll wait at the boss till you get here. Okay, so this one right here, if you aggro all three of those guys and then go stand behind like that pillar to the left of the gate, then they will, you can line of sight them and they'll come up to you. And I'll bash them. So just like hide behind the periscope thing. There you go, see, now you can come out. Oh, yeah. Um, if you guys could put away your bankers, please, if you have a cute little kitty banker. It's because it makes it hard to, like, loot the trial. And if you don't think it's you, it's probably you, because that's just how it works. Okay, so this one, um, they took away the need for purge on this boss, um, so I'd like to kind of just, uh, stack and burn them. Um, everybody, you'll want to stay out of the, uh, circle sparkles, so if those land on the ground, just step out of them, okay? Um, I'll take the negatrix and wait to the side for a little bit, and Auntie, if you could just hold um, Positrix, he's the left guy, like, um, facing away from the group, just right about here, um, and if 
he, if uh, that boss gets red sparkles on him, then if you guys could just bash, but just burn, and then I'll bring in the um, guy, the other guy when that one's dead. Okay. Sound good? Yep, ready. All right, pulling. Three, two, one. Just try not to put him like directly on the group so he doesn't um, put those sparkles on everybody. Yeah. And just heal him oh. through that. Yep, yep. Alright. Okay, I just need big heals right now. Just kill the left guy first. Okay, we're good. Oh, that'll do it. <laughs> All right. Easy peasy. Does anyone want to play upstairs or would you rather just ignore and stack and burn? Since okay. Time. Okay. So um, when you go up, it's it's a bit different on normal than it is on vet. So just go up on your side, um, kill your spear guy because it shouldn't have a shield. And then um, when you're done, let's have whoever's going south just call out to push. Okay. Red, you go north. And who's going south? Who said that they wanted to go back up? Oh, I will. Caesar. Caesar. Okay. All, all okay. Just... Yeah. So you'll just each go up and kill your one guy and then um, give it like a few seconds and then call to push in three, two, one, and then push and then turn around and jump back down the hole. Okay. Um, and who wants to go east to the right? Uh, this is Darth. I'll go to the right. To east. Okay, cool. And who wants to go west? One more. You just go up, attack a sphere, and then push a button at the same time. Come on, Alright, Chili, go go west. <laughs> You've been volunteered. So um, I'll call for when you guys go up. I'll just say runners go. So I'll hold the boss. Um, Ante, if you want to get the uh, Centurion. Um, and hold him in the middle. When he's the spinny guy, after 40%, just take him to the outside and run around with him um, around the exterior circle. Everybody else, just uh, stay out of steam and stay out of sparkles, and you'll be good. Okay? Um, we got to kill these ads first, though, so I'll grab left ads, and we'll pull our spheres to the center if you want to grab right. Okay? All right, pulling three, two, one. Good. And make sure to point your kagoodie away from the group, so towards like the back of the room. Okay, so everybody go south and that's where you mostly fight. Okay, he's coming down. Pulling now. Got a warhorn. Three, two, one. Glasses. All right, centurions here. If you want to grab them. All right, I'm in um, splits. In steam. Got the centurion in the middle, or just here on the side? Yep, to the middle is fine. Okay, runners go. Should be a conduit. West. 
Kill the conduit. Oh. oh that's done. Okay. Alright. We're gonna need someone to go up west. Splits. I hit it. I don't know if I'm gonna I think I'm just gonna oh yeah. Okay. It's okay. I just fell to my death. That's alright, we'll just get Rez's um conduits up. Get reses and then kill the centurion. If you want to pull the spinning eye at a group. It's okay. Top can be scary. No worries. I'll, yeah, I can hold on to this guy while you have spinning guy. Um, oh, you have taunt. Never mind. Conduit. Okay, splits. Don't be north. Okay, take Spinny Guy out. And I'll try and grab the other guy off of you, because that's the guy that needs to stay in. So I'll take ton of those ones. Doesn't look like it's letting them res me where I'm at. That's okay. Any guy, you're making it hard to see. <laughs> Alright, GG. We'll have to try top again next time. Okay, once you're done with your chest and the portal will come out, we can go up top. Just when you go up, don't pull don't move forward yet till Everybody gets up there, so it doesn't start the pool. Okay, so Auntie, um, I'm going to be pushing the switch, so you'll be pulling the ads that come out. Um, I'll show you before we actually start the pool where, where they'll come out from. Okay. But um, for right now, looks like everyone can move to the center of this pad. Um, if you want to go left with everybody, um, actually, no, I'll, I'll do it there because I don't think you'll know where to stop. So you go right and grab everybody and continue all the way around until you meet us on the other side of the circle. Okay? Okay. okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sweet. Keep going now. And everyone just keep running. Just keep following me. There's no way I'm going to be able to aggro all of these, so just keep, just bring them. Okay, stop here. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to move around the edge of the circle behind the spinny blade so that um, when the adds, um, the spiders die, the shield doesn't blow you up. So just keep slowly moving around the circle and that should keep you away from the adds. So just keep coming around the circle. Hopefully you'll be here soon with your adds, right, Auntie? You're doing okay? Yep. Okay. Cool. So everyone just wait here. <laughs> Usually if I just like toss down blockade or something, it's soft aggros and they just come with me. Okay, looks like they're coming. So continue what you were just doing. Uh, 
that's the boss, so just stay here and I'll get him in a minute. Yeah, he'll come down after um, the ads are done. And then I'll grab him. Okay, so if you see where we're at right now, this little alcove area is where you're gonna have, I think, just one ad spawns on normal. So um, as soon as I pull that switch up there and the sparkle line goes across and the boss's shield gets removed, come back here and wait for your ad because um, we want to keep them away from the boss because we don't want them to get shielded too. So just grab them and take off to the next light. You can kind of see that terminal on the side, just the little circle light. Just take them just right to there. Yeah, and then just wait for us and then um, everyone will kill the ad while we're waiting for the boss to get there and then we'll just do the same thing over and over again. The next alcove, the ads spawn on the right and it just alternates. Yeah, okay, so everyone can come stand right up here. Um, no one else touch this shock pylons, okay? I'll pull it. I'm gonna go get the boss. Uh, I have a warhorn when he gets here. Just lay down your dots and be ready for him. I'll do first cross. Right, three, two, one. Okay, hit him. He's about to shield up. All right, you almost got him in one. So there's your ad. Just keep pulling him to the next spot. You don't have to block or anything, just run with him. And just stand over here, and then when you get there, you can block. Okay, pulling now, focus boss. And now kill the ad. All right, that's it. Super easy, right? Mm -hmm. You didn't even get to get a second ad. Rip. <laughs> Just for all the potato DPS you guys are saying you have, we almost got it down in one. <laughs> right? We were 3% off. Come on, I'm disappointed. Okay, so we still have an ad somewhere. Or it's glitched beneath the map. You found him? Yeah. All right. We can take the chest and the sacks. I don't want to make you guys have to run all the way back through this one. It's a bit epic of a run, and I know some people are looking for gear, so just in case we have to go right at eight. Someone has to go right at eight. We'll trade gear at the end. Uh, so this one, if you want to take the um, melee ads, so anything that's not standing there shooting things at you, and I'll take the, um, the range ones and pull them to the center of the pads wherever they spawn. So we're just taking them in the center each one? Yeah. So there's a sack right here if you guys want to grab that first. It's just to the left, and then see where those ads are going to spawn right there. So I'll grab the guy that has things shooting out of his arms. And you can take those ones over back over here to the circle and point them towards um, where we're heading to so that all the DPS stay on the other side because some of these have a yucky cleave. And I'll aggro that guy. You don't have to worry about him. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a turd. Okay, so we'll grab these guys and pull them. Um, you'll just have the Kagudi. I'll grab the other two and pull them to the center. Or the other three, sorry.
Okay, so this guy we want to wait till he spawns his little spheres before we kill him, so just light attack him, etc. And I'll hold the big guy, and if you want to grab the spheres and drag them when they come. So just barely touch him. Too much deeps, too much deeps. There you go. Okay, you can grab the um, spheres and then just drag them down this way. If you guys could help bash, that would be cool. If you can avoid running into those um, sparkle bomb circles, you won't shoot off little bombs that are um, going to shock your buddies. next little area um, we'll have these uh, melee ones and there's not another big guy okay um, I'll take the califactor oh there's the big guy and the capacitor you take the guys on the left okay and we're gonna drag them right over to about here He's going to also spawn little circly dudes. Watch out for that. Spin. Okay, spark uh, circly dudes are up. So you guys could help bash them and we'll drag them. Need a bash for a hill guy. They won't move when they need to be bashed. Yeah, it freezes them. There's one on the hill that needs to be bashed. There we go. GG. Cool. So this next room here is the triplets. Um, we're actually going to just stack and burn in the middle. Okay, so just gonna need to keep heels up. Um, just drop everything when you get it and try not to stand in um, sparkly things or grabby hands. Um, I'll aggro the guy on the left if you want to aggro the guy on the right. I don't think we need to do a tank swap on normal, so we should not be able to do that. We should be fine. Okay. And little guy just stays where he is. Nobody stand in the shock circle that he's going to have in the middle. There are going to be adds that are going to come in, um, but they should die to AoE fast enough um, and not really hurt too bad if they do blow up. So. We'll give it a go. If it goes wrong, then we'll do more mechanics. Okay, pulling three, two, one. So just kind of stack them as close to the middle as you can. Just point them towards the back. Four, one, three, two, one. Keep up big heels. Make sure you're evenly focusing, everyone. Good job. Make sure you guys are hitting that purify synergy if it comes up. Okay, you're good. Cool. That worked. Was watching health bars go down and didn't see mine. <laughs> yeah, you probably hit the the circle in the center or something that usually will do it. We're playing Skip's Mechanics and Hoff, if you guys are okay with that. The true, true farm method. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, most people are obsessed with this room on the left because they think they get good stuff out of it, so feel free to check it out. I usually get lockpicks. I just got two lockpicks. Yep, three lockpicks. Let's go. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Only one was losable. <laughs> Red got a potato. All right. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they're just empty. I think people get like uh, blueprints or something out of them sometimes. Okay, so this next bit is just a hallway of ads and shocks and spins and the usual. So, um, Auntie, if you just want to try and grab anything with swords, and I'll grab the things without swords. Okay. Okay. Let's go. The dissector does put a bleed on you, so if you notice your purify synergy come up, then you'll want to hit that. Generally, we like to um, keep the ads like right on the circle pads because DPS can stand in the middle there and not get hit by spinny blades. So it's the usual safe spot. No, you're cool. Alright, so I'll grab this guy. He won't move very far. Um, you'll want to stay out of the water because it zaps you and drains your resources. So just try your best to run along the outside. And here's a chest and a sack right here. And there's more enemies at the top of that hill. Ooh, cornflower. Okay, so we'll try and hold these guys on that pad right there. Okay, I've got um, the guys I'm going to be dragging over here. Uh -huh. Oh, too far guys, too far! They got a little excited. GG. There's a heavy sack right at the end here. And then we've got another shock puddle down there. The right side seems to be a little bit safer, but they both kind of suck right here, so. And this guy likes to chain people in on the right. So you might get pulled like that. sword guys up here. Ah, uh, make that four. I'll grab one of them for you. Just come all the way to the circle over here. Right? That guy's kind of a jerk. Come on, shooty arm guy. There you go. Hey, there's a uh, chest in a sack right here. Okay, so this is the last boss room. Um, I'm going to try something a little bit different than 
you guys might be used to um, called the trench strat. So we're just going to stack and kill everything. Um, come to get take an execute spot though. So healers um, be opposite each other left and right on the ends of these little things. Everyone else pick a corner like of the octagon or whatever it is. And Auntie, you can stand like right here. Okay. So just right like kind of on the tip here um, where you'll stand. And border you want to be up here. Um, so the point is to not overlap your circle with someone else as an execute. So scooch up a little bit border like right here. Yeah. Okay. So everybody take a look where you're at. Take a look at the door. We're going to be jumping down from, um, well, we're actually not going to be jumping down. We're going to be coming from that direction, okay? Um, and so just look at the door where you're at right now. Try to find your spot. If it comes to execute and someone's in your spot, just try and find a different spot, okay? Um, and you'll just keep up heels on everybody and everyone just deeps. Don't worry about sh blocking, shielding, whatever. Your shield's going to be gone in two seconds during execute. So for the rest of the fight, um, we're actually going to keep um, everyone down in the trench. So I'm prepared that we might have people dying a little bit, um, but you'll basically, if you're close, you'll want to block his stomps. If you're ranged and you can stand a little bit farther back, then just watch out for grabby hands um, and just stay out of those. And let me put a sh the shield charge on real quick. Okay, so Auntie, what you're going to be doing is you're going to grab any ads that pop up from anywhere. They could pop up from the left of the boss or from the right of the boss or down in the center. And you're just going to kind of hold them um, like next to me by group. And hopefully they'll just die to ulties and AoEs and stuff. But just point them like away from people. So like point them at the wall or something. Just you can figure it out. Yeah. Um, when he goes to the center the first three times, it'll be terminal phase. And don't hit the, um, the boss at that point. So this person with a lovely uh, flappy bird, you're actually going to want to take that off your bar for this fight. Um, so you can go to your character menu and, and de-summon him from from that um, and you can put on like a different skill or something if you want to but the point is you don't want anything including your flappy bird hitting the boss during um, the terminal phase because it will kick back at you so anything you hit him he will hit back at you so that could make you die it's not fun um, when we when we are down when it's when he goes to the center you're gonna want to avoid standing on the grates on the side because that'll give you a poison dot and avoid just like standing in the spin blades. Um, they're gonna go back and forth through you. Well, that's fine. Um, never go up like behind where the boss is right now because once he goes back to his spot, then um, that will kill you with a poison thing. So pretty much just you're all going to come with me, stand down here, kill the boss, and when he goes to the center, we'll stay where he's at and kill the terminal and then wait. And when he goes to the next spot, we'll follow him. Okay, that sound good? Anybody have any questions? Nope, nah. So. Alright, well, let's try it out. If it doesn't go well, we'll go traditional. I just want to show you guys this. Okay. I'm pulling three, two, one. So you want to stand kind of the left or the right of the center. I just put big heels down here on everyone. Oh, I have glasses. Okay. Or get stunned. <laughs> yep. Okay, he's going to the center, so come over here to the terminal area and um, grab those ads. Um, you'll want to be a little bit closer than that next time, um, red, just as a heads up, because you're out of the heels back there. Okay, 
Okay, kill that terminal at the end. Did we kill it? I think, yeah. yeah. Sweet. Yes, All right, just hang out. Um, kill that ad up on the top over there. He's not going to move very well. I'll try and drag him down here a little bit. Okay, now you can kill him from that side. Okay, when the boss moves, we'll follow him, but everyone just stay here, keep heals out. You can um, block too, just don't hit the boss. Okay, zap. Now we'll follow him. Be careful of the blade and the fire. You might want to back up a tiny bit from that if it's hitting you. Here's an ad. So just kind of point him this way. All right, don't hit the boss anymore. Um, just go to the end right here and kill the terminal. We only kill one, yeah, cool. We only kill one terminal on normal. On vet, you need to kill two or you'll be dead. Um, so we're not going to worry about going to the next spot. Um, come back down here. Or you're going to die up there, by the way. I'll try and pull him over. Okay, hopefully you guys can reach him over there. I'm not sure if you can. Okay, there he goes. Okay, once you're done, just block. Shield, hold still. He's about to pop up. All right, let's go to the side. My glasses. Okay, remember to back up a little bit if it hurts. Adds out. Boss is going to the center. This is going to be our last terminal phase. Let's see if I can grab a zappy guy and bring him down. Okay, here comes zappy guy. Oh, um, I, you have to be really fast, but range taunt him and run up that ramp and then come back down super fast or the damage will kill you. Gotcha. Yeah, I just ran to the other side to line of sight him. And then once he comes down here, I'm line of signing him around this corner so he walks out. Okay, and just shield and block. He's going to pop up in a few seconds. There you go. Okay, so next time we're going to go to our execute position. So remember to orient yourself to where the door was. Back up if it's hurting you. Okay, um, to your spots, we'll just take the ads with us. Got a Colossus. Okay. Let's come, make sure you're standing in your spot, um, everybody. There you go. And just push them. 
GG. What do you guys think of the trench strat? I like it. I like it. You like it? Is there, a, is there a benefit for doing it that way versus the old way, traditional way? Uh, yeah, faster burn. So do you need a certain level of, of burn to, for that to work properly? Yes. Yeah, and it's yeah, it's easier to target him um, for anyone that's melee, like Suzu said. Um, if you're using Trap Beast, you're not really going to be able to get it on him from up top. Um, but yeah, as long as uh, it's just easier for ad control, in my opinion, because um, when you're up on the side, you're trying to pull them around the corner and stop DPS and watch the burn and that kind of thing. It's just if you've got enough heals and you've got enough DPS, then that um, strat works really well.